Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, well, we uh, will talk a little bit more about the Patch Tuesday updates that arrived yesterday for Windows uh, 10 and 11, and 8.1 also. The um, updates yesterday fixed something that uh, was not really mentioned immediately uh, clear yesterday, but there are two zero days that are fixed in uh, yesterday's updates. So we talked about the Windows 10 and 11 that has uh, 25, 26 security flaws. Uh, somebody asked me, but you know, usually you give the total security flaws for every Microsoft product. Well, if we count every uh, product, you know, like Office and, and so on, uh, it's 49 security flaws total that are uh, addressed and fixed. But in uh, those, there's 19 elevation of privilege, two security bypass feature, 23 remote code execution, three information disclosure, three denial of service, and one spoofing. Now, what is interesting in the uh, Windows um, side of things is that two of the vulnerabilities are zero days that are already exploited by bad guys. One is uh, with the uh, Windows Smart Screen Security Feature Bypass. So uh, we talked about, you know, Mark of the Web f feature and so on. Well, one of the things that was exploited by bad guys is the ability through email, through a, ma a, a bad web page, to uh, drop malware on your PC without anything happening that you just click a link and the malformed um, link would simply use that security flaw and drop malware. So, you know, one of those things where you pretty much do nothing and you get infected. So one of that is one of the fixed uh, features uh, with the uh, mark of the web defenses that uh, it could evade. The other zero day that it fixes has to do with the DirectX graphics kernel. It uh, actually had a very bad flaw that attackers actually could use to successfully exploit and get privilege or elevation of privilege. So even if you're a standard user, they could just you know change your account to admin and do whatever they want. So that was also um, a um, zero day that already are exploited by hackers out there. So you no know, tells you why it's important to f actually. Um, you know, update your system with the latest security flaws fixes because uh, it's really, really uh, something that uh, is, is bad out there. But for the rest, uh, no, right now, as of, uh, you know, 24 hours later, uh, nothing indicating that uh, bra it breaks anything or something bad. I've seen various uh, comments from you guys that, you know, took from uh, a few minutes, like in my case, it took like maybe five 10 minutes to the complete install. Uh, some of you uh, say that took an hour, two hours. Um, typically, if you know uh, updates like yesterday take more than an hour, uh, something's not right with your PC. You should really look into it. Uh, even older PCs. A lot of guys came back to me with older PCs and said that you know within 30 minutes it was installed. Usually, uh, Windows updates like this do not take hours. So. Um, if it does, there's something definitely not right with your setup that you should actually check out. And remember that the install phase that we actually um, check is not the install while you can still use your PC, but really the install from when it wants to restart and you have a usable machine. That is the time that you actually have to calculate, not the download and the first install phase where Typically, you can still use your PC and do whatever you want um, while it's actually preparing the install and the updates. So uh, things uh, are uh, really, really complex today with all these security flaws. Make sure that you update your system. Check Windows updates. It was uh, the patch Tuesday. Once again, I'll remind everybody, there is no C-band optional bug fixing updates this month because of Christmas. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.